Hey, it's Cycling Explorer again. Today I'm at the end of the Blacklick Trail and I'm going to try to explain to you why it ends and what they're doing about it. As you can see here, even though the official trail ends, a lot of people have made their own trail. Now this goes on for about a hundred yards and then it ends up going underneath the railroad tracks. So this stretch of property actually is private property and belongs to Norfolk and Southern, the railroad um, company. Based on discussions with a couple different rangers, Norfolk's biggest concern is the fact that they're worried about the liability issue of something falling off the train, or actually the bridge itself. Bike paths underneath railroad bridges have been successfully done throughout the Columbus metropolitan area. My suggestion is that you just create a cage that goes underneath this bridge to keep anything from falling off and probably would be the most cost-effective way of dealing with this problem. As you can see as we pan up, something does need to be done, but it needs to be done in a cost-effective manner. Hopefully this solves the mystery as to why this trail is not completed. Now don't forget to subscribe.